What is up, y'all? This preacher Lawson in the building. I'm here. Good to see you. What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Welcome back. How we doing? We good? Having a good day, nights? Cool? All right. So I went on Facebook and I was like, hey, what's your assumptions about me? Because I've seen a bunch of other YouTubers do it. And I was like, that's perfect content. So I went on Facebook and I think a lot of people were super nice. They were super nice. You know, I didn't read, I didn't, I read like the first like seven comments or something like that. I was trying to figure out what they were, you know, what they were talking about, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, and then I didn't read anymore because I was like, I don't want to ruin it. But I do want to know what people's assumptions. I think they were too nice on here. All right, but we're going to see. Let's see. Here you go. Oh, 256. Oh, man, that's a lot of comments right there. All right. Here we go. Top comment. I assume that you have the best mom ever and you are blessed because of it. Yo, my mom is pretty, she's pretty cool. She's all right though. I mean, she's annoying, but I love her. She's the, I mean, she's, I think she's the best mom because she's, she's my mom, but I think she's great. Yeah, I think she's great. So that's a great assumption. I, I don't have the best mom. Top three though. I, probably top three, right? All right, here you go. Uh, top fan, Clarice. I assume you would be a, dang it. I would assume you'd be a great dad and a positive influence on your kids. I assume you love people hard even when they don't, they don't love you back. I assume you get your feelings hurt more than you let it be known. What? Okay, maybe, maybe they weren't nice. <laughs> She's only saying that because I blocked her on Facebook. I did block her on my personal page because she did something. She po She was being like, I, she, I think she said something about my ex or something. Yeah, you know what I mean? And like, it was like during the heat of the breakup. And I was like, what, what, the, what, what is wrong with you? Or something. Or she posted like, she tagged me in something. She's something stupid, all right? She's a good person. I did improv class with her. I was, but, that's what she, I, but she's a top fan, so she obviously supports me, but I did block her. That's why she talking about getting my feelings hurt. You hurt my feelings. I don't get my feelings hurt all the time, but I do have feelings. Anyway, good assumption. <laughs> Cody Morgan, I'd assume you're the go-to guy when family needs, family, friends, fans are having it rough and being the humble guy, you you know just how to cheer someone up. All right, I'm that guy too. I am that guy. Yay, listen, I feel like I'm that guy. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel like everybody has. I'm that guy for me, my brother's for me. You know, I'm not that guy for me. I'm that guy for other people. My brother is that for me. Or my, you know, there's a bunch of people. Everyone has that someone that can cheer them up. But I think I do a really good job of cheering people up and just, uh, Making you laugh and stuff. I don't know. I think it's a good assumption. Are we doing like ding? Good assumption? <laughs> bad assumption? I guess we do it like a thumbs down if it's a bad assumption. All right. I'd assume that you're, you use laughter to overcome painful things in life and also that you are incredibly intelligent and have a big heart. Well, I'm dumb, so you failed on that one, but I, I do have a good heart. No, I have a good heart and I don't think I'm dumb. Um, but I, I, I don't use, I, I mean, I think I use comedy for a bundle of things. I don't use it solely for to get over like something that like, I don't know, something that was painful, but if something's painful, I do use it. That was a decent assumption. I think you are friendly to all who meet you. I would guess that you don't need caffeine for all that great energy you have bottled up. And I imagine you wear a smile more than any other facial expression. You right there? I be smiling. I'm smiling, yeah. I do like to smile. I love smile, it's my favorite thing. And then you can smile and it just like, I don't know, it tricks your body into being happy. It's really good. And uh, I, I, I used to drink coffee, I think earlier this year, maybe last year, but I stopped doing it because I got rest during quarantine. <laughs> I mean, I have a lot of energy, man, but I still get tired. I, before quarantine, I was working like crazy. I assume your success hasn't gone to your head. You seem so down to earth, humble, not afraid to poke fun at yourself. And obviously the fact that you're a vegan makes you one of the best. Okay, wrong side. You can't see my arm. There we go. This my okay. I'm right. Thank you. Um, success has not gone in my head. I still think I'm broke. I go to the store sometimes, and they charge you ten cents for a bag, and I'll debate if I need a bag. That's how broke I've been. How long I've been broke? Anyway, I assume that you are harder on yourself than anyone else, and always think you can do better. Fact, a perfectionist. Man, you better say that. My family and I still say, I ain't naked, I got socks on. Ha <laughs> ha, that's funny. I do do that. I'm very, I am super hard on myself. I'm very hard on myself. But I think that's, I think most, anyone that's like successful 
and is crazy talented and I think that you know that are uh, people that are like doing well they're hard on themselves they're not easy um, you know what I mean like you don't you have to be hard on yourself uh, you have depression as a funny man always out to make people laugh you could be hiding a deep depression like Robin Williams had you know I'm not depressed now but yeah for sure times I've been severely depressed but I you won't see me on social media if I'm if I'm sad you ain't gonna see me on social media <laughs> get out of here you don't need to see me sad and it doesn't like make people feel better if I was just on social media and I was like I'm sad it's like searching for people to be like feel better I hate when people give me that feel bad energy like I feel bad for you so here I don't need that you know what I mean so you can laugh at my jokes and when I'm sad I'll be sad alone I'm going to assume you never have a bad day and are always happy. Joe, that's not even possible. That's not even possible. Of course I have bad days, man. I have bad, I mean, but I'll tell you this. I get mad every single day. I get sad every single day and I get happy every single day. I get excited every, I have every emotion, every, it's just real quick, you know? And if someone cuts me off, man, calm down, preacher. And I'm good, but I was mad that day. But most of the time, I would say most of the time I'm happy. You just can't be, can't be happy all the time. It's not even possible. The chemical balance, you need it. Uh, you worked really hard to get to where you are at and people think that you got it without trying Karen Oh my gosh, that's such a great assumption that is yes People just be some people think that my, my first appearance on TV was the first time I've ever done stand-up. It's crazy It was crazy. Yeah, they think that it is just like super easy or something on my struggle They just see they see the finished product, you know the way you are on stage is how you are all the time Oh, that's not no, I mean yeah, I mean, yeah, that's how I am, but it's condensed into just funny, you know? So, like, you know, sometimes I crack jokes in a person, and they're funny, and sometimes they're not funny. So what I do is I just take all the jokes that I would say in person that aren't funny, and I just take all the funny ones and put them into a set. So I'm a lot funnier on stage. So it's not, I'm not the same way, but I'm pretty, pretty similar, I guess. I'm pretty similar. It's not a different persona on stage. I'm the same guy. Anyway, since you're a vegan, you're automatically an awesome person. Oh man, that's not a great assumption because there's some vegans that aren't good people, you know, but I appreciate that. I, I love most vegans. I'm like, you're great. Most vegans are really good people and they're vegans for, because uh, they don't want to hurt anything. They don't want to hurt anything. So usually when someone has an idea, I don't want to hurt anything. They're usually a good person. But I would like to trade over some vegans, you know, for some meat eaters. <laughs> you know, I like, you know, I like every time somebody black does something crazy, they always like, we want to trade over uh, the black person for like, you know, like Gary Owen or whatever. They just name a white person. They want to, it's a funny thing. I'm trying to trade, them, whatever. But I appreciate that. Uh, you have to be always laughing in your mind at something or what some someone might have said while in conversation. And you might have to hold yourself from laughing. Yeah, there's a couple of times. I mean, I do hold myself from laughing a lot because I laugh only when I'm laughing at something I shouldn't be laughing at. If it's something bad, I'm like, oh, I shouldn't be laughing at that. That's when I'm like trying to hold my laughing. Otherwise, I let it out. I let it go. Let it go. Sarah, that you probably don't have a serious side, which is okay. You're funny as heck. I legit could watch you all day. I do have a serious side. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm serious most of the time. <laughs> I'm actually serious most of the time. And then I joke sometimes. I just think that me, I think I just merged a lot. Like I'm, I'm a silly person. So when I'm being serious and I throw silly in there that people don't think I'm serious, but I'm serious. I assume you would be America's Got <laughs> Champions too soon. Shut up, Roger. That you're a people watcher, but not in a creepy way. I, you know what's crazy? I was gonna say, I ain't no people watcher, because I was gonna be like, that's creepy. But you said, not in a creepy way. And I was like, well, now, now that you put it that way, I do be watching people. <laughs> you love attention. Yeah, you're right. That's why I'm a comedian. I feel like that's obvious. All right? Yeah, yeah I love attention. <sighs> I like it. I like it a lot. I assume that you love everybody. Yes, Rachel. I love everybody. I mean, I love. Yeah, I love most people. Well, even when I disagree with them, you know what I mean? If I disagree with them, and I try not to hate anyone because that takes too much effort. You know what I mean? I don't hate anyone. I guess I'll do a few more. Um, I think you have an underlying sadness about you and or something really hurt you when you were younger. By the way, I wouldn't feel bad if I'm wrong about this. Okay, well, I don't, I think everything, I think something happens to everyone. Not everyone. Obviously, people grow up with like great lives and they don't, 
experience trauma or nothing. But I think most people experience something as a kid that they're like, wow, that sucked. So yeah, but I, for the most part, I had a, I had a great life. I don't have, a, I'm not sad. I feel like I'm healthy. You know, I love my, I love my, uh, my um my family yeah everything I'm not sad I'm trying to like I'm trying to like think of how I'm sad I'm like thinking how what make me sad this gotta be <laughs> you have a serious side you only let those closest to you see do I feel do I joke around that much on like just social media where people just don't think I'm serious at all because I feel like I'm pretty like even now like now I'm pretty serious <laughs> I'm like super serious. Is this not serious to y'all? Okay, I just don't know. But uh, I mean, yeah, obviously people that that are close to me, they see a different side, but they still see me. You know, <laughs> someone say you gay? Definitely not gay. I'm not gay. If I was gay, I'd just be gay because this is the perfect time to be gay. 2020, this is the perfect time to be gay. I wish I was gay. I'd have so many more followers. You're a liberal. Uh, <laughs> I'm not really. Look, I'm not. I'm not on any side. I'm not a right, I'm just, I feel like both of y'all kind of crazy. So it's like, I'm in the middle, cause I'll hear sides and I'll be like, oh, I agree with that, I agree with that. But um, I'm 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 in the middle. I'm in the middle as much, but I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in a way like, as long as it's not hurting me, I don't really care. I don't really care if it's not hurting me or if it's not hurting anyone. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna control anyone's life, but, um, I don't know, man. Both of y'all crazy. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. I'm running out of time anyway. So uh, thank you so much for asking me questions, Facebook. I hope I got to your question. I, it, I, I probably is 256 comments. So, I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'm not going to get to all the comments and all the questions, but I tried. And I really appreciate y'all being, uh, being a fan of mine. I mean, you. I honestly, I mean, I can say I appreciate it all you want to, but I don't think you'll ever know and I can never convey how important you are to me and my life and my family's life. Thank you so much. I love you. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm posting this on Instagram or YouTube, probably YouTube. So since I'm on YouTube, I need to go and say this on other social medias like, I don't know. Go ahead and follow me on other social medias. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, TikTok, all that. And I'm out. That was the video, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you did, maybe subscribe, and maybe click on the left or the right.